All right, and I'm going to actually run a recap for that. So what we did that, um, I already showed you the big five model. So the openness is predicted by six facets. So what they did that, we created a new variable called openness. And then we ran the linear model on that. So you write LM. And then within the parentheses, you write all the uh, variable names that you want to use. So you write data. And then you select the variable that which is the dependent variable. In our case, it's uh, this a total of openness. And then we write the tilde sign, which is uh, the key below escape on most keyboards. And then you write all the variables and with plus in between. And then you tell the model where to find data. In our case, the data is in the file name data here. And when you run this analysis, It's going to create a new variable, variable openness. I have already created that, so it's not showing it to me again. Um, but if you want to see the summary of that, it's going to generate this output in the console window. So, uh, yes, uh, all these um, variables um, here are the independent variables. And the one that we want to predict or the dependent variable is the total score of openness. So we write it first. And after tilde, we write all the independent variables. So once we have the summary, we know that all of our variables are significantly contributing to the model and um, they are um, accounting for variance in the uh, dependent variable. And then we also have um, the uh, scale at which we can know how how significant that is. So all of them are significant at 0 0.001 level, which is very good. Uh, so the residual error uh, is 3.22. And the residuals are basically the differences of variances uh, from the uh, fit line. Uh, the R score value is 0 0.87, um, which is very good. And that means that you know our model is uh, replicable and it's reliable. Uh, in F statistics, um, you have to know that um, it has uh, a p-value of uh, less than 0 0.05, which is all we need to know.